Here we are in February and we're going to talk about the tropics. Why you ask? Well, we have abnormally warm sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic. And the question is, could the warmer than normal sea surface temperatures signal trouble for the 2024 hurricane season? We're still months away from the beginning of the hurricane season. And right now along the mid-Atlantic, the water temperature is plenty cold here. But I want to direct your attention to our southeast over the main development region in the tropical Atlantic. Look at how warm these water temperatures are. You see 70s and 80s widespread with these conditions as they sit right now it's about three degrees centigrade or so warmer than we would typically have this time of year in fact for this region the main development region it's more typical of what we would find in July. So you think about that, very warm conditions, warm enough that it could fuel some tropical development. Now, a couple things are working against that, and I'm gonna talk about that right now. We'll take a look at those sea surface temperatures in the Caribbean. You need 80 degrees or warmer to really fuel and support the development of tropical systems and hurricanes. You see, it is around 80 degrees there for the Eastern Caribbean, back up towards Puerto Rico, water temperatures there in the low 80s, 81 here in the Central Caribbean. So these areas warm enough to support a little bit of development, even warmer water off to the east and to the southeast of that. As we take a look around the Gulf of Mexico, it's cooler and if tropical systems were to develop and strengthen as they move over these cooler waters, they would lose typically some of their strength. That's what normally happens. The other thing that's happening right now, we still have a strong El Nino that abnormal warmth along the Peruvian coast over in the eastern Pacific. So that creates a lot of wind shear. And you think about it, hurricanes need that warm sea surface temperature. Typically, they develop. But when you get high wind shear, it blows apart a lot of the systems that try to develop. So right now, there's nothing bearing down on the U.S. We're not worried about that too much in the moment. But with those warm sea surface temperatures, the kicker is this, as we get in to the mid to late summer, when we typically approach the peak of the hurricane season, we may be beyond the El Nino. We could flip back into a La Nina. And if that's the case, we could have a very, very active hurricane season. We'll have to see how things play out. Obviously, there's a lot of time before the start of it, but these early, early year abnormally warm conditions and sea surface temperatures that are more typical of July and February, that may be creating some need for concern. We will, of course, keep you updated as we get into the hurricane season.